Hey guys, it's Drew here with Drew's Quick Fixes and Hacks. If this uh, review helps you out, please subscribe and hit get notifications. Uh, I'm starting to do more reviews on products and stuff uh, about cars and other things. So uh, hit subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. So today we're talking about the Pro Booster uh, Ultra Capacitor Jump Start Technology. This is the Schumacher one and it's 800 CCA, uh, cold cranking amps, I believe is what it's called. So the, the concept of these Pro Boosters is um, unlike a regular battery jump box that you just kind of carry around, you constantly have to charge that up. Supposedly, this takes, takes energy from the dead battery, charges up the capacitors in this, and then shoots it back into the battery for a jump start. So today we're gonna see if that actually works. And I've seen some other videos on YouTube, not necessarily on the Schumacher one, but um, there's one that's sold on eBay and it seems to work. The battery in the Tahoe today is completely dead. No lights, I can't open the door locks without a key. So we're gonna really put this to the test today and see if it works. Cause I'm not sure whether this is just meant if your light is left on and the battery, the Tahoe has been sitting for about, uh, probably about three, four weeks without being started. So that's what happens to your battery after then. All right guys, so we're gonna go over here and uh, we're gonna unbox this thing and take it out. This came from Home Depot. Um, Bought it from Home Depot so I could return it if I figured that it had a problem. Right there it says no charge required. Um, but you can also get this on other websites if you Google it. It's called the DSR109 Pro, Bo Pro Booster Battery Jump Starter with an Ultra Capacitor. So, like I said, there is nothing. You can leave this in your car for five, six years and it'll still jump start. I will tell you, I got this from Home Depot. They say they send it directly from Schumacher. Uh, it was $215, I believe, um, from Home Depot. There are cheaper versions, but I wanted the ability to return it if I don't like it. And um, we're gonna see if it won't jumpstart this completely dead Tahoe, I may return it because that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for something for a situation like that. So, uh, okay, so we're, I will tell you, this box is pretty pitiful. It just came like this via, I believe UPS from Home Depot, and this comes directly from Schumacher. This box is very flimsy, so they don't put a lot of effort into their boxes. I mean, this box will just come, fall apart, basically. Uh, so you've got your important instructions, uh, blah, blah. <laughs> um, I don't know, it's some kind of a, a jump start cable here. And so we'll get to the main, the main unit here. It's not a jump start cable. I don't really know what that does. I'll have to read the instructions on that. It looks like it clamps into, into the unit itself and may be a USB adapter for your actual cigarette lighter or something. I don't know. So you can see the box is really poorly made. Not impressed by that. Um, not impressed at all. <laughs> uh, this is not really sold in retail stores. So it's something you can only get online and I'm not sure if it's just not popular or what the deal with that is. So. I'm gonna move on here. I, it's got a little wrench it comes with. I'm not sure what that is, but um, this apparently is the part that plugs into your cigarette lighter. So I don't know if it'll work um, via your cigarette lighter or not. We'll see, but that, it looks like it's possibly the power port there. Yes, this this is, looks like that goes into that. Uh, well, no, maybe not. I don't know. Guys, I'm doing, I'm seeing this as you are. So um, these are the two connectors that go to your jumper cable. Got a nice instruction manual here, and this is it. It's a it's a pretty good size. It's actually not too heavy. I'd say it's probably about maybe 10 pounds, eight to 10 pounds, um, roughly. Um, that's just a guesstimate. But um, so it's got your lights on here, and supposedly when you when you clamp this into your battery, you turn it on, and it'll start for a little while. Now it says glow. That looks like glow plugs for a diesel car. Could be wrong on that but um this does say it'll work on diesel cars as well diesel batteries take a lot of energy to start so all right well i'm gonna hook this thing up and i'll get back to you guys uh may read the instruction manual a little bit but uh, i thought i'd do the unboxing for you here all right guys so the battery on my chevy Tahoe is completely dead here nothing no lights the light in here doesn't even go on um i am curious about this because uh I don't know. It says it needs at least eight volts to start out of the 12 volts. So it's sort of like if you go somewhere and leave the light on in your car, your battery will still have a little juice, but not enough to start. So I'm a little skeptical about this, but we'll see. 
if it works, I'm going to be extremely happy because, like I said, the battery's completely dead. So um, we're going to hook the uh, the Pro Booster up, the Schumacher Pro Booster, and we'll see what happens. It says you got to wait a couple minutes. Okay, so I got the uh, red and black lamps attached. Um, on this one, I think it does say attach the red and the black to the, or the negative and positive to the actual battery terminals. We're going to hit the on-off button. Hold it down. And nothing's happening. So this battery may be completely dead. Uh, this battery is about two and a half years old. Two, give or take, yeah. Nothing is happening. So, my guess is there's not at least eight volts to start this uh, Schumacher Pro Booster. Um, hence, I'm, I'm not that impressed because that's what I need this for. Is when, you know, the battery dies like this from the car sitting around. Um, but I guess it's more meant for if you're left, uh, leave your car in the parking lot somewhere, leave a light on and you come back and the battery is dead. These are definitely connected properly. So... I'm going to hit it again. It's just even hold it down for a couple minutes. There's no juice. So what it is, is if this battery had at least 8 volts in it, it would send that 8 volts right into here. And somehow, I guess, it makes it into enough power with the capacitors to jump start the battery. So the Schumacher Pro Booster has failed in this particular situation, which I'm not too happy about. But uh, uh, I may drain another battery on purpose, which, you know, just do it for the sake of the video uh, here to show you guys if it actually works, if you just killed your battery and it's, and it's, the car's barely starting. Um, this thing might also help in cold weather. Um, you know, it's got a little minus when it's really, really cold and your battery won't start. Um, <clears throat> this might take the extra energy back, but it is definitely not charging. Um, as far as I know, I've hit all the buttons on here. It says you can plug this into a wall to give it a little bit of juice. Um, and of course, that's gonna be doing the same exact thing that a regular battery charger does. Um, so yeah, but anyway, uh, I guess though there, there is the advantage that you don't have a, uh, a battery, like a, a battery jump box actually has, I guess, the components of a regular battery. So with this, you don't have to worry about the battery going because jump boxes only last about two or three years. And if you forget to charge them, they're dead before that. So that might be the advantage to having this. Um, but anyway, like I said, I'm gonna try this on another car and uh, we're try I'm gonna try plugging it in. How about that? And seeing if it works after plugging it in. We'll get back to you guys. Okay guys, so I, I just uh, hooked this up to the PT Cruiser, which has a good battery and supposed to take about a minute to a minute and a half so what they're saying to do is you can charge this from another car and charge this up and then send the energy back to the other car in that case the Chevy Tahoe over there so we're gonna see if it works and I you know I I, I hear I've got it hooked up just like I would to jump start on the on the uh, uh, I've got my negative on the trunk and then this put that right there um, I did so we're gonna wait for it to hit the 14 watt button so it's all the way up to 12 watts volts or 12 watts um i guess that 14 is the extra push it has so uh i will tell you while we're waiting here uh, i called customer service i was on hold for 11 minutes with schumacher i'm not impressed with that um the call center is in illinois um 11 minutes is a long time to wait on hold they have a the thing where it says it'll call you back and it says we care i hate those messages those always upset me when <laughs> so not too impressed with that uh, I do like my Schumacher battery charger that's an actual plug in the wall charger I've had that for about five years and I love that thing um, so uh, but anyway we're still waiting for it to charge here I don't have a timer well on my phone it says one minute and 26 seconds so we're still waiting and I will tell you another thing about this these clamps are very small. It's very hard to clamp to that battery terminal there. Um, I had to pinch them pretty large. So I'm hoping this isn't draining my good battery on my PT Cruiser here. Uh, and I just realized something. I didn't turn it on. Well, that's great. So yeah, you've got to hit the on button. Okay guys, so I hooked this up to the charger. Once I got to remember to hit that on button once it's connected to the battery terminals, uh, that's what I didn't do. I didn't hit the on button. Once I hit the on button, 
Uh, I want to make sure we're not touching anything here because I think this becomes sort of a live battery. We're going to go over to the Tahoe. It does show 14 watts there. Um, but yeah, you want to make sure you hit that on button on off. So I do have eye protection here because I am a little scared of this. I've never used one of these things. So I'm going to set this here. And I don't want this on any metal. We'll see. Okay, so eye protection on. Now, I'm going to turn it back on. You can see it's up to the 13 watts there. I don't know that I didn't put it on long. I put it on for a minute. We'll see if this is enough. That should be enough to jump start the car or the truck. So I'm going to turn it off again while I plug the cables in. There's a fault override. I'm not sure exactly what that does. But I know if you hit on off enough, it should turn on. Well, maybe not. Okay. So it's just reading how much energy there is there. Um, as I said, this, from what I understand, this does sort of become a, lar a live battery, so I want to be careful where I hook these up. So I'm going to hook the, the red up first. Hopefully you guys don't see a live incident here where something bad happens. <laughs> Hope not. And unfortunately on Chevy Tahoe, these rear, I hate these rear cable hookups. They're such a pain in the butt. They really are down here. Okay, so now that's in. Pretty sure those are connected. Okay, you want to make sure those are connected. Now, we're going to hit the power button. Okay, and it says fault override. I don't know what that means, but it's showing 14 watts. So, I'm going to go steal the, key the keys from the uh, PT Cruiser over here. We're going to try to crank this Tahoe. We're going to see if this works. I do like the concept of not having to have jumper cables. So, uh, you know what? So far, a fail. There's no light, no cabin light. There, oh, the cabin light does work. Never mind. Okay, it's just the door thing that doesn't work. So, hey, guess what, guys? It did give power to the car. Let's see if this works. Turn on. Holy moly. That's pretty cool, guys. So, you can use this to steal power from one car to another. Okay guys, so now let's turn it off. I don't know if there's a safety or anything. You don't want these touching. Make sure it's off. I don't know if it's off. I'm impressed guys, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, that's turning it back on. There it's off. I'm impressed. This actually did take the energy from one car and put it into another. So that Tahoe battery was completely dead. And uh, so the Schumacher DSR, Schumacher DSR Ultra Capacitor does work. Um, I did ask the guy about uh, uh, extreme weather and he said you're not supposed to keep it in the trunk of the car in extreme weather. I don't know if you wrap a blanket around it, if that's all right. Um, so yeah, he said extreme weather, extreme heat and cold can affect it. So, but this is something you could just keep in your car and when your battery goes dead, you can borrow power from somebody after one minute without doing all that messy jumper cable stuff. I will tell you there's another brand available on eBay that's a lot less expensive. And I'm probably, now that I know this whole system works, I'm probably gonna buy that and test that out. And maybe I'll do a video comparison between the two. Um, so this won't start a completely dead battery with, with nothing, but it will start your car by stealing uh, energy within one minute from one car to the next. So I really like that. So guys, as you can see, this did start the Chevy Tahoe on a completely dead battery. Um, through some editing, of course, like I said, because I, I had to edit because <laughs> otherwise it would be a really boring video. One thing I did want to show you that I didn't try, uh, I did figure out there, uh, instead of plugging into a wall because it does not give you a power outlet cable, there is a uh, power adapter hookup here for, uh, I believe it's DC power. So this plugs in here, and I think you can charge this by using a cigarette lighter or two in a working car uh, with a car battery versus doing what I did in the video and plugging up these connector cables to um, to the, uh, uh, the the car. Uh, like I said, it took one minute with those cables. I'm not sure how long it would take to charge with this, but you would just look on the, the gauge until it hits 14 watts. So that's probably a little safer for people who are not as experienced. What is the advantage of owning this? Okay, of course you can buy those little tiny, uh, tiny uh, things that uh, charge your battery up 
or jumpstart your car with just, you know, plugging into a USB port, things like that. Those you have to constantly keep charged. So every month or so you have to take that inside, charge it or plug it into your cigarette lighter, things like that. This you uh, can just leave in your car and then use power from another source. Uh, if you're in a parking lot, you could ask somebody, hey, can I borrow your cigarette lighter? Things like that, <laughs> or just charge your battery. Um, the advantage to this is not having to use jumper cables. So I do like this unit. Uh, it is fairly expensive, but like I said, most uh, most chargers are about, uh, regular battery charger about $65, $70, $65, give or take, a good one. And then uh, those little tiny chargers that fit in your glove box, those are usually 100, 150 bucks. I could be wrong on that, I didn't check the pricing, but. Um, so anyway, guys, I do like the uh, Schumacher batteryless charger. Um, so it will work, and uh, like I said, it's a great way to uh, jumpstart your car without, uh, you could just leave this in your truck. You don't have to worry whether it's charged or not. It'll charge in just minutes. So that's the advantage versus plugging into your wall and leaving the charger for hours. This is Drew with Drew's Quick Fixes and Hacks. Guys, thanks for watching today, and I uh, uh, hope this video helps you out. As I said, there's another one available on eBay that's a little less expensive than Schumacher brand. I always want the option of returning something if it doesn't work, so that's why I bought this one via homedepot.com. Very expensive, 215 I saw them as cheap as 189 I think, on eBay. Uh, but uh, all right, guys, have a good one. Thanks.